Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 289. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to count commas, one, two, three, four, in this text string. Now, the reason why this is so important is it will allow us to then count words or numbers, or in tricks 290 and 291, we'll see some even more amazing uses that will all be based on finding some pattern and counting in a text string, right? You could have commas or semicolons or dashes or something like that. All right, let's start off. Let's think. This is a text string. Is there a way to just count the number of characters? Well, yeah, sure there is. Equals len, the length. And that, if we just use that formula right there, that'll give us 22. There's 22 there. <coughs> now. Um, hit F2, and what we'll do is we'll do a trick here with len, but the length will look at the substitute function because we have a function called substitute that can say, hey, find all the commas and get rid of them. So if we did that, we would have a new text string that was missing those characters, and then we could subtract the two, and it will give us, in essence, the count of the commas. Minus len, and then substitute. Substitute says, hey, where's the text? I'm going to say right there, comma. Where's the old text you want to find? And you got to put it in quotes, double quote, comma, double quote. It'll find those commas. The next argument here, you can see it says old text. I hit comma, and it says, oh, what's the new text that I want to substitute uh, for those commas? And it's just double quote, double quote. That's a blank. Now, it's kind of hard to see here with all these commas. That's the text right there is the second argument with a comma. This is the text for the third argument, which is a blank. That's the symbol for blank. So it'll find all those and replace them with blanks. So in essence, when we get close parentheses, close parentheses, this part will not give us 22. But if I hit F9, it'll give us 18. So 22 minus 18 is 4, exactly what we want. Control Z and then Control Enter. Now I'm going to copy that formula. Control C. <coughs> now let's see if we can figure out a way to count words. I'm going to um, F2 and then Control V. Now we're just one off. One way to do this is to then notice that there's no comma at the end. So we could come to the end and ampersand in double quotes, comma, double quotes, and then do the same thing right here. Actually, we don't need to do the same thing there, just there. So this will give us the count. And this one here, in essence, will substitute and get rid of them all. So you ready? It's like adding one, right? And it gives us five. Now, here's the thing. If you have a database that's really throwing this into a column, whatever it is, if, if, if it's always going to have commas, commas, but the last one doesn't, there's probably an even easier way to do that than that one. We could probably just go like this, right? Just add one to the end. Right? So depending if if your database really is dumping it out that way, then adding one to the end is uh, just as good as um, adding this comma right there to the end of that text string, because that's just like adding one to the, the, the count. So those are two ways uh, to count the words, right? Now, what if you had a whole column like this? Well, you'd do the same formula, except for instead of just B10, you'd highlight the whole range. Now, when we hit Enter, we're going to notice something. OK, that didn't work. Uh, F2. <coughs> um, let me actually do the uh, ampersand in quotes, comma. OK, let's try this again. Enter. No, that didn't work. How about Control Shift Enter? No. And if you run Formula Evaluator, Formula Evaluator is formulas, formula auditing, evaluate formula. In 2003, it's under the Tools menu, Formula Auditing. If you run this right here, evaluate. Notice it only picked up the first cell. And I'm going to evaluate this one over here too, right? It only picked up the first cell. Well, there's a way to uh, force this issue. It's the sum product. The sum product, or we could use sum with uh, Control Shift Enter. Sum product. When we run Formula Evaluator, you'll see that it allows some product can handle arrays. And this is really an array here. Uh, Control-Enter, or Enter however you want to do it. 
You do not need control shift enter. Notice that there's no curly brackets that got put in here. Now run formula evaluator. And notice here's that same argument we're going to uh, evaluate again. But when I click evaluate, no way, it got them all. There are words separated by, um, in quotes, right? This whole string right here. And it's got a semicolon, which means it goes to the next row. And it's got the next one. And then the next one, you can see right here. So it picked them up by putting them inside the sum product. Uh, I'm going to click Close. So that's a way to add up the whole column. Now what about numbers? Well, we could use the same trick. But what if we had numbers and we had some zeros and we didn't want to count the zeros? Well, we could use a similar formula here. But think about this. We want to get rid of the zero for both that one and this one. So we could actually have a double substitute. I'm going to click right here and type substitute. And think about this, 0, comma, 0. So if we did substitute and said, hey, find the commas and zeros and replace it with blank, that will work just fine. So the text, com, uh, ampersand, double quote, comma, double quote. So that's the text. The old text that we want to find and replace is in quotes, comma, 0, end quote. The new text we want to put in is a blank, which is double quote. Right? So now let's see. Let's highlight this and hit our F9 key, which evaluates. Sure enough, look, it gives us the text string. Oh, except for it's the wrong cell. Control Z. Let's do this one. Boop, B19. Now when we highlight this and hit F9, we can see that sure enough, it did get rid of that. 0 and that comma. So this will serve as our uh, new text string that we're going to look at. I'm going to Control Z. And I'm going to copy that whole thing, Control C. Because really, we want to then come down here, double click that B10. That's a nice thing about forms. You can double click a cell reference, and it highlights it. Control V. So now, really, what we've done is we've had a substitute inside a substitute. But we've replaced the single cell with this whole thing that we saw. Gets rid of the 0. And then we did the same thing here. But notice it's substitute of a substitute. Here it gives us it, the string without the zeros and the comma. And then the second substitute looks for the commas and subtracts them. So when we control enter, control enter just keeps the cell highlighted. You could have hit enter, right? But then you have to click back up here. There it is, five. That's how many numbers there are. So that's a little bit about the magnificent len and len substitute. When we come back in our next two tricks, we'll have much more complicated situations. But at the base of our solution will be this len, len substitute idea. All right, um, see you next trick.